Yeah. You must do that twirl. Yeah. Yeah. Do the twirl. Come on, take, so give us the twirl now, Trish. Trish. And we'll keep Lloyd away because he's got a heart problem. Yeah. Twirl me. Now this one here. <laughs> yes, got yes. Got to get twirled. That's it. I've got a heart problem. Hey, not anymore. You mean this is good for you? Yeah. I didn't have a heart problem. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a heart problem. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it's in good stock anyway. Uh, you know, I've worked with a lot of directors before. Some of them were geniuses and some of them were bastards. But I've never met one that was so totally and absolutely... I don't know. <laughs> I'm deeply touched. Now, when you get off the stuffy stage, <laughs> and look, yeah. are you in? in? Are you there? <laughs> what? No, you're out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming out of there. So, there you are, on the receiver. So, here I am, Cody. I'm not going to repeat the term, and I leave starting. So, it's the same story. And you take the newspaper. I leave the sardines, I put the receiver down, and I take the music. It's always the same story, isn't it? It's a load off your mind and a weight off your stomach. Off the top, I guess. Leave the receiver. <laughs> <laughs> My housekeeper, yes, but this is our funeral. So we've got the place entirely for ourselves. I'll uh, just check. Hello? Anyone home? Yep. There's no one here, so, uh, hmm. what do you think? Great, and this is all yours? Oh, just all that shack in the woods, really. <laughs> Converted potted mill in the 16th century. You must have got the ball. Well, one has to have something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone coming in for, in fact. Arab, uh, oil, you know. Right, then. We shan't bother to, uh, <laughs> All these doors. There are only a handful ready. Kitchen, study, and self contained service back for the housekeeper. And which one is the other? Uh, what? You know. There, uh, through that. Generations. 
great. Come on, then. I've got to be back in Bayfield. Fit my call. Uh, perhaps we should just have a glass of champagne. We'll take it up with us. Yes, well. And don't let my bow out of sight. No, only. What? Well, oh. she has been in the family for generations. Ah, well, of course, it's not for me to say it, poor dear, but I will just say this. Don't think twice about it. Take the blood. You'll enjoy it, dear, won't she? Yes, well, yes. Ah, we'll enjoy it, dear, won't we? Well, yes. Before she comes back from sardines. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, another bar. No, no, no. Oh, I'm trying to get this bar. I mean, in here. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's the airing cupboard. Uh, this one, this one, this one. Well, you're in a real state. Come on, then. Oh, you can't even have the door open. Yes, but this is Mrs. Clackett's afternoon off. We've oh, already been proud of it for ourselves. Oh, it's late. Go on, say, it. They held it. The dog saw that it was terrible. Sorry, love. The door won't open. The door won't open. The dog said, Poppy! Sorry, everyone. Is it my fault? You know how silly I am about doors. No, really, my friend. Don't do it perfectly. Well, just as long as it wasn't my fault. Ah, there was Poppy. The dog said, Be fruitful and multiply and get to them to fix the doors. Oh, I didn't love technicals. She loves technicals. Isn't she just, I mean, you know, she really is, isn't she? <laughs> Doggy? Where's Doggy? Well, I mean, everyone is always so nice to everyone. Oh, um, but then there's being all, you know, I mean, she really is, isn't she? Oh, Freddie, my dear, don't you like a nice, all nice technical? Well, the only thing I like about a technical is we all get a chance to sit on the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lovely to see you cheering up and making jokes. Is that a joke? Immediately we've lost him. He's not in his dressing room. I have looked in 
Yes, but this is Mrs. Blackett's afternoon off. And we've got the place entirely to ourselves. Look at this. Here we are. I can't believe it. Oh, the perfect place for an assignation. Home. Home. Oh, you can see the highway. The last place on earth anyone would look for us. It is rather funny. <laughs> Damn serious! If you let everybody realize that we're in the country, even for one night, then goes most of this year's income. I feel like an illegal immigrant. Now tell you what I feel like. Champagne! I want to tap in the bed. Oh, well, why not live children? We are absolutely True! There's something to be said for being a tax expert. Neither. Watch! Inland Reverend, you may hear us. <laughs> well, I didn't have to learn such a star thing, so I'll never know. Mrs. Clackett! Oh, you gave me a turn. We are just right out of our boots. Who's so did mine? We thought you'd come. Oh, well, I thought you were this fine. Oh, we are, we are. You haven't seen us. I'm not here. Ah, like that, is it? Income tax, so I'll see you all day. Well, you we were here. <laughs> All right then, dear, I haven't seen you. I don't know that. If anybody asks, I haven't seen you. Off to bed, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, dear. Nothing like bed, but they'll all get on top of you. <laughs> they'll want more things, though, don't you? Yes, thank you. And that bed hasn't been aired, now. No, I haven't given a hug on top of Oh, that reminds me, dear. I've put all your letters in the study. Letters? What letters? You forward all the mail, don't you? Well, not the ones from the income tax side, though. You don't want to spoil your holiday. Oh, my God, where are they? Well, I've put them all in a little pigeon house. In a pigeon house? Yes, there's a little pigeon house in your guest club. Yes, that's what your voice is. Hold it. Hold it. Uh, what seems to be the problem, Freddy? Lloyd, you know how silly I am about uh, drops and things. Sorry, Daddy, sorry, broke my usual dimness. This is that I don't understand why I take the things into the study to look at my letters. Wouldn't it be simpler if I just left them off? No. I just thought it might be somehow more logical. No. Lloyd, I know it's a bit late in the day to go into all of this. No, no, Freddy, we've got several more moments yet before we open. <laughs> Thank you, Lloyd. Just as long as we're not too pushed. It's just that I've never understood why he would take a box of groceries and an overnight bag into the study to read his memento because they have to be out the way for my next scene. Yes, I see that. And Selston needs to study for him. Yes, I see that. Yeah, Selston, where is he? Is he oh. there? Oh, Selston! Selston! Am I on? No, no. Oh, no. Sorry, I thought I heard my voice. No, 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 Selston. Go back to sleep. Another five, ten pages yet. Right. I see all that. I just don't understand why I do it. But why does anybody do anything? I mean, why does that other idiot take two plates of sardines through the front door? I mean, I'm not getting to do, of course. Yeah, of course not. I mean, why do I? Come to think about it. Why do I? Who knows? See, pretty love, who knows? The front springs of human action are even clouded, Freddy. Maybe something happened to you as a very small child which made you frantic to let go of groceries. Yes, well, it could be genetic. Yes, or well, it could be, you know. Yes, it could very well. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. I, I see all of that. Hey, I, I just told you, I don't know. I don't think the author knows. I don't know why the author came into this business in the first place. I don't know why any of us did. No, all the same, if you could just give me a reason I could keep in my mind. Yes, it, Freddy, I'll give you a reason. The reason you take these things into the study, Freddy, my love, is because it is one way of part of it, and we're not going to get finished before we open tomorrow. Correction, tonight! Right, and on we go. Pretty exit. Voices. But there's no one here. Darling, I, I saw the door handle move. 
Hey, it could be someone from the office checking up on us. But why don't you put your tie on to have a look? Mrs. Clockett. Clockett? She's been in the family for generations. Oh, look, she's made up on party. Come back. What? You can't go downstairs like that. I'll fetch them. Why not? Mrs. Faggett. Faggett? She's irreplaceable. Stars ain't there. Stars ain't there. Like a Sunday school picnic. I don't know. Are you still poking around, are you? <laughs> uh, yes, still poking. <laughs> In the airing cupboard, were you? Uh, no, well, just, uh, you know, uh, counting sheets, uh, doing the inventing. Uh, uh, Mrs. Cowshed. Classic, <laughs> there. Classic. Uh, exactly. Uh, is there anyone else in the house? Well, I haven't seen anybody, dear. Oh, well, I thought I heard voices. I must have imagined it. Oh, my God! I beg your pardon? Oh, my God! Why, what is it? Oh, my God! The study door's open! There's no car outside. That's not Mr. Hackett's bit or Mr. Dudley's. No, Mr. Dudley's door. Final notice. Steps will be taken. It is strange. Proceedings in court. How? Oh, that reminds me, dear. A gentleman, he come about the house. Well, don't tell me. I'm not here. Oh, all right, then, dear. He oh, said he's got a baby quite aroused. Oh, leave <laughs> everything to Squire, Squire, Hackham and Dudley. Oh, all right, then. I'll just let him go all over, shall I? Let him do whatever he wants, just as long as nobody knows that I'm here. All right, I will. I'm just going to turn on the... and have my... sardines. <laughs> Yes. Take this 
Patriot Whisper Superman forever. Could he rap? I found it. No, he found it. Where was it, Doc? Uh, it's in my eye. Oh, where? Oh, where? Yes, but this 
find some of them yet. A little earlier, but a little sooner, yesterday perhaps. Freddie, I want you to start moving when Freddie opens that door. What's the light, Freddie? I've heard of people being stuck in the pocket. This is ridiculous. Right. You start moving when you hear the line. I've heard people being stuck with a problem. People being stuck with a problem, and I want your arm coming through that window, okay? Right. Say no more. May I make a small suggestion, though? What's that? Perhaps I should come on a bit earlier. Seldom. Okay. There seems to be fit by X. Freddie takes it and my entrance. No, no, hold it, Selson. I've got it. Yes. Why don't you come on a little bit earlier? Oh, we're opposite thing along the same line. <laughs> Am I putting him on or is he putting me on? The problem will get it anyway, Freddie. <laughs> I've heard of people being stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. No bother. No further alarm. We ought to be prosecuted for incitement. No, but sometimes it makes you want to sit down and weep. When I think I used to do banks, I remember when I did fully involved. What am I doing now? I'm breaking into paper bags. And I know they're all in Spain, because I saw the old turkey in the kitchen told me so. And I know she's out, because I saw her going out the front door in her swimming costume. <laughs> front door. Where is it? Right. Get the van loaded up. No rush for all planning afternoon. Right. What are they offering? Oh, one microwave oven. What? <laughs> Fifty quid? Hardly worth getting it. Chunk, chunk. Still, if you insist. <laughs> Where's his desk? Ah, it's true what we all say. It's hard to adjust to retirement. <laughs> <laughs> and he's brought a tenant. I naturally wish to know if there's been any previous history of paranormal phenomena. Oh, yes, dear. Everything's all nice and paranormal. I mean, anything ever seen materialize? What do you think ever? Turn about. Turn about. Oh no, dear. Everything just moves itself around the house on its own two feet, just like it does anywhere. Well, I'll tell the prospector too. She's uh, inspecting the study. Is it bad in there? Oh no, dear. No, there's no one in the house. Don't be searching for something. Someone has broken into someone's house. 
Yes, sex criminal. And the young woman is missing. Is it the dog and the missing man? Oh, I'm sorry, the young woman has reappeared. What? Are you all right? No, he almost saw me. He almost saw her. <laughs> no, 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 but he's a burglar as well. He's taken our things. No, you're our thing. And the uh, things have come back. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're just missing a set of sardines. What's the other sardines? And we found the sardines. <laughs> Study 
however. Okay, all is forgiven. 
I was uh, irresistible. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> you mean? Her too. Now I have something I can know. something she didn't know. Oh, hush now. <laughs> See, a two weeks rehearsal, you know, that's all we had. Whatever next? Most exciting. Sure. Oh, yes. Sure. Here it comes. How is she, love? Oh, she'll be all right. Something she hates, I think. Yes, this one's feeling a bit, you know. Yes, and this one's feeling a bit, you know, too. I think I'm going to <laughs> take Thanks. Need that tea break. Yes, well, you certainly seem to be overdoing it for the moment, my Yes, well, could we please just have the last line? <coughs> yes, but I'll tell you one thing, Dickie. What's that? Dad? When all around is strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned plate of sardine. And good. <laughs>
Phoenix Peak, Phil Cole, Ms. Ashley, Ms. Austin, Ms. Dillashow, Ms. Mr. Fellows, Ms. Blair. Act one, beginners, please. Maybe act one, beginners, is what we're going to get. What do you think? She'll pull herself together now that I've called beginners. Now she knows she's got to be on stage in five minutes. Won't she? <laughs> Won't she? Oh, well, we've only been to the road for a month. We've only got to ghoul. What's it going to be like by the time we get to get the supper on tea? Sleep only she speaks. Only she got locked the door. But it's fine. Uh, it's she doesn't go on. Won't go on. What did she do? Well, she must. Of course. Oh, oh. it's enough. Well, then I only have five minutes to change. No, four minutes. Oh. Only she say something. I'm going to have another drink. Take your wine with your own coffee, please. She's gone. Oh, Louis! I didn't realize you were coming down here today. I have to. Thank God you're here. I'm not. Well, Dr. Gary, then. I'm... Yes. I am. Put those in water. Yes. Don't let Bobby see you. Dr. Gary, that's an awful matter. She's not herself in the bedroom, though. And she won't speak to him. The first house finish is just after five, yes? Send house starts at 7 30. I will be two hours alone and undisturbed with Brooklyn in the dressing room between shows. Then I'll have 7 25 back on the Yes, right, that, that's what I'm trying to tell you. They might not see the show. But she hasn't pulled out the rest. Uh, no one knows what she's doing. She's not the car from the dressing room and you won't speak to anyone. And before we get this, yes. Well, I can't do it in five minutes. It's physiologically impossible. <laughs> she's had a bust up with Gary before. Brooks had a bust up with Gary. Brooks? Not Brooks. Dotty! Oh, Dotty! <coughs> yes, she had the same back up in last week. We were doing work stuff, remember? Yes, yes, you told me about that. And, I'll tell you about and, that. and, and she had the same as the girls and girls. Yes, Tim. And Jervis, you told me about that as well. And Gary. Gary wanted to kill him. Yes, I know. Gary wanted to. Gary's always with me. Listen, don't worry about Dotty. She's got money on the show. Yes, but that's what I'm going to tell you. Two o'clock this morning, bang, bang on my door. Hey, Gary, how about being drunk? Taking a home in. Listen, Tim, let me tell you something about my life. I had the Duke of Buckingham on the telephone for an hour after we heard him every night, complaining about the Duke of Gloucester, sucking boiled sticks during his speech. Faithful is off for telling him in the morning, and the Duke of Clarence is off for a whole week doing a commercial for Madeira. Last night, I had Brooke on the telephone. I'm very unhappy here, he says, and I've got a doctor's certificate for nervous exhaustion. Now, I haven't got the time to find or train another picture. All I've got is one afternoon, while Richard III is getting set for a surgical corset, and Lady Anne is filing a divorce, to cure her of her nervous exhaustion with no medical aids except the pop of whiskey that you have, a few flowers, don't forget to put the flowers in water, and a certain way in bedside manner, so I didn't come to the theatre to listen to other people's complaints. I can't do it, but he's taken out of myself and threatened me not put back again. Yes, but you know. Have you done the front house calls? God. Don't let Bobby see those flowers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, can you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in three minutes. <laughs> oh, we're going to be so late. God, any luck? The Belinda cabinet is over now. I haven't even done the front house <laughs>
She's a funny woman, you know, Dotty. Very up and down. She was perfectly all right last night. What? Yes, she took me for a little drink after the show. In the club, she knows. She was with you? You were with her? She was being very understanding about all my troubles. Oh, what trouble? No, 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 she couldn't have been with Liza. She gave me my things on with the faculty. She told me all her troubles. We sat there until three o'clock in the morning. And another thing oh, about Matt last night was way so when it turns out that Freddy here is the so, well, he's not in his dressing room. Oh my god! Oh my god, the front of our school. Yes, you look so kind of hard, right? And I am And what did I do? And you need nothing at all. You've done more than nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, Please take your seat. The curtain will rise in three minutes. <laughs> but now he wants to kill someone. Nelson wants to kill someone? Gary, Gary. Nelson? Well, we've lost him. Don't act like How? Hold it. I'm going to go look in the pub. I'll take her. Thank you very much. I'll take her. Oh, I just thought we'd done them. She gave them two minutes. I'll get one minute. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you please get the seats. The curtain will rise in one minute. <laughs> and she gave them three minutes. Yes, she gave them three minutes. Three minutes! I gave them three minutes. She gave them three minutes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you please get the seats. The curtain will rise in two minutes. <laughs> Yes, everywhere. 
Everywhere, out front, manager's office, past no sign of him. Is he looking for you downstairs? Downstairs, yes. Great rumpus going on down there. I thought him ought to know about it. Well, I think it's her, Clark. Oh, yes, every word. Oh, he was really going for her. I know when you got your eye on somebody, he said, and I see the way he'd be looking at Teddy. Teddy? Who's Teddy? <laughs> or maybe it was Neddy. <laughs> Teddy or Neddy. One of the two, anyway. Oh, please don't try. Oh, they I knew they wouldn't. And you, yeah. Oh, yes, every word. Right. We will indeed take your seat. The performance is about to begin. Yes, they're coming. And we found Belgium. How did you get How? Oh, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, I teach this. <laughs>
Thank you. 